Gaming graphics cards. Asus Tough Gaming GTX RTX 3080 overclock review. When a new NVIDIA graphics card comes out, it's usually the Founders Edition that gets the most attention. And it's for a good reason, obviously. They have an incredible design and fantastic build quality. Since it is their technology, they know exactly how to keep it working above its potential. But the Asus Tough GeForce RTX 3080 overclock is trying its best to keep up with the 3080 Founders Edition. And being the first third-party manufacturer to join NVIDIA's 3000 series, it is indeed a bold move to try and take on the best. But at first sight, you can clearly see that they're trying to make them different from the Founders Edition. But let's get a little bit deeper into the Asus Tough gaming geforce rtx 3080 overclock an extreme take the asus 3080 made a very bold move not only by being the first third-party manufacturer but even more by making it more expensive than the founder edition itself but by doing so you can expect to see some improvements and even higher quality performance compared to the founder edition that is but there really isn't much of that in there on paper it's pretty much the exact same specs as the founders edition but there are some slight differences of course one thing you'll notice is there's a big upgrade to the boosting clock compared to the founders edition the ASUS Asus version of this card is packing 1815 megahertz. Aside from that, possibly the main difference between the Asus version and the Nvidia version is definitely the body itself. Oh, and the cooling system, right. The cooling system is definitely a big difference as well. There is no such thing as small compact RTX 3080, but Asus took that to the next level, making it even bigger and heavier. You don't need the measurements. Just by looking at the three fans on top of the card, you'll see the difference. However, that means it's packing two or more fans compared to the Founders Edition. But does that mean it has better cooling? Cooling. Well, no, not really. The Founders Edition has special air vents and multi-directional airflow that allows the card to be cool with just one fan. Reducing the size and noise of the card, the Aces aim to be more traditional with the the more the better with the fans, which is a simpler way to receive similar results. Moving on to the category, how does it handle gaming? It may not be the Founders Edition, but it is still an RTX 3080, and that means it's pretty much the best you can get in terms of a gaming graphics card. The triple cooling fan combined with the massive heatsink allow for greater cooling. With the Aces Tough Gaming RTX 3080, overclock, you'll be able to top any game you want with any setting, and most of the time it'll run well. Due to some software optimization playing some part in the Founders Edition, the Tough still falls behind for very little when you compare them side by side. It isn't anything drastic, but it is consistent in its unperformance. Still, it is more than enough to play modern games, and excellent for any intensive GPU tasks that you're wanting to do. And then last on our list is, should you get it? Absolutely! Especially since it's a lot easier to find it on the market compared to the Founders Edition. Those ones sell out quick, and it will still perform basically the same if not close. And of course, there are some downsides, like the huge size and the weight means that you're going to have a spacious case. The brute force solution works great as well, and that's a thumbs up if you also want to overclock it, as it will stay relatively cool. If you're looking to buy an RTX 3080, then again, it's much easier to find the Asus version on the market compared to the Founders Edition, and it is a great buy. However, if you do find the Founders Edition instead, then definitely go for that one. You'll save money and basically get the same, if not better, results. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my new starter code to partner with Shop, and I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, hit the bite like button. You must be definitely definitely do subscribe i am slurring left and right but yeah like the video let me know what you think in the comments below let us know what you think and if you want any of these parts or so on go to shopasgaming.com and i'm sure we have loads and loads of loads of options like literally you need something we we got it anyways ladies and gents you enjoy the rest of your day are you an influencer and interested in collaborating with shoppas well reach out to us at support at shoppas.com we'd love to chat